name is Lucy, in case you didn't know, and I'm here um, talking to you for my sewing conversations over coffee this morning. It is a wet and dreary day here in Wiltshire, and this has prompted my conversation this morning to come on and speak to you about what I'm calling seasonal motivation or seasonal unmotivation. Um, and the topic of this conversation this morning is really sort of around you know how the yearly seasons can affect our sort of abilities or want to do things um, and this has a real impact on me definitely I definitely think that I'm a spring summer um, girl I like hot weather I always feel cold I've got my cardio and I'm a heater on here in the studio this morning with my lovely hot drink um, and it definitely has an impact on my I wouldn't say mood, but it definitely has an impact on my ability to want to do things more in such that, you know, I don't always make time for myself when the seasons change. And in particular for me, the autumn and winter, I like the change of seasons, but the cold, it takes me a little while to adapt to each one. And I do find it hard sometimes to sort of make time for the things that I really enjoy to do in those changes. So I wanted to find out from you guys today, really, you know, uh, do you think you have motivational, seasonal, what can I call this, something, you know, do, do the seasons affect you and how do they affect you? Do you find that you're quite consistent or do you find that you really dip in some seasons and really pick up in other seasons as well? And I'm talking about, you know, the things that we enjoy to do, our hobbies, sewing, any other craft related things that you do. Do you find that you're much more productive sometimes of the year? and then you have a real dip at other times of the year. So winter for me, I don't like the cold for starters, so I have to be warm and energised to, to want to start, you know, creating and doing my thing. Um, so as soon as I feel cold, then all I want to do is snuggle down with a nice warm blanket. So that is sort of a big dip in motivation for me straight away. Um, and then two, it gets dark really early. It's dark in the mornings. So I just find I feel more tired as well. So top tips, if anyone's got any top tips for that on keeping your energies up as well. Um, but there are a couple of things I found to help me out um, to come out of these little slumps when the seasons change and when it's feeling a bit cold and when I feel like I need a bit of a, a push or someone else to motivate me along other than just myself. And those couple of things are, is to, to have a little box, almost like when you're children or have children, you might give them what we call a busy box. Um, and this is a really good idea for creative people as well. So you want to keep this little box of goodies that you don't use all the time but they're craft sort of elements that you would like to do more of so maybe you'd like to be you know create cards for instance which is perfect for this time of year coming up to Christmas or maybe you'd like to do some screen printing or weaving or whatever it is you put those little activities in a box and then when you're feeling a bit of a slump um, you can sort of delve in the box and re-inspire yourself so this I find really really helps so keeping some little crafty bits and pieces and Elements. I have a drawer for instance and I just open the drawer it's like the kitchen drawer um, everyone has one of those drawers it's got it's full of things well you almost need a craft area drawer box whatever it is like that to inspire you so then I I hunt through this box find some new things to have a go at they have to be really easy um, and they have to be for me they have to be just sat down in the house types of jobs so that I don't have to be on my own, I could do them on the sofa, on the dining room table, when everyone's about, because I like I like being social as well, so I like people having people around me. So I find that really helps, that's a really good one, um, and it means also that you can sort of have a try at something else that you want to do, something you don't normally do in your um, craft hobbies or whatever, you, your maybe your work. Um, so that's definitely a winner for me, the first one. And then the second one that I like to do, I'm just looking because my pussycat is trying to come in here into the studio. It's all wet outside. It's giving me a little meow. Um, sorry. The second one um, that I like to do that really helps motivate me, and that is to do um, a workshop or book onto a workshop or a class, of, again, of something that I wouldn't normally necessarily do. Um, it means that I get to be with other people, like-minded people that are enjoying the same thing as me. It means that I get to get out of the house, get some new inspiration, some new ideas and feed off of other people's motivation really and their sort of spirit. 
um, and that definitely definitely helps as well now I'm looking for some classes at the moment something different to do I'd like something maybe in plants I really like site like, flowers um, so maybe some Christmas related sort of table decorations or something I'd like to do so it's just having a think really of things that you can get out and about and do if you need to and have things at home that you can delve into that are completely different than what you would normally indulge in. So that's kind of my couple of little tips of things that I like to do to keep me motivated. But I'd be really interested to know, do you guys suffer from any slumps through the year? And are they seasonally related? Mine definitely, definitely are. Yes, this cold weather definitely doesn't help me my motivation step it makes me just want to sit down drink tea and snuggle watching um, movies and things which is not good at all <laughs> So yes, so that's what I want to come on and talk to everyone about. And really not to sort of take to heart if you do get a slump. We call it a bit of a sojo. You've lost your, your, your sojo um, in the sewing world. And that just means that you're having a bit of slump and you can't find the motivation to make what you want to make. Um, and I definitely recommend just putting it aside, doing something completely different for a little bit, and then it will return. That's why also I love doing my my online um, community sessions as well. So on Facebook, I have the Social Sewing Community group where I come on live and do sewing with you guys. And that really motivates me. Having, you know, people the other end of the camera that I can't see, but I can see all their comments. It just spurs me on and motivates me. And I love being able to inspire others to keep sewing as well. So if you haven't checked that out, you really Really must do it the link I will put in the comments for you here yes that is all today it's just a little short one I've got lots of work to get on here and, and do and it's my birthday week this week I'm just adding that in there I'm a little bit nervous I'm turning the big 4-0 this week um, so that's been playing on my mind Quite like to stay in my 30s a bit longer but hey ho you know what they say life begins when you're 40 apparently so i'm enjoying a few different activities this week as well for me a few little pamper sessions making the most of turning 40. i've got lots to do this morning i'm going to be packing up some orders going to the post office and then having a little bit of a chill later on having my hair done covering up these gray hairs that show showing my age but I will be back on later in the week as well to discuss some more topics. Thank you everyone for watching along. And really excitedly, on Saturday, um, I went shopping with my little person, my little mini me, my daughter, and we looked around the high street at all the fashions and trends, colours and textures out there to inspire us to make some me made clothes for this winter. And it was lots of fun. It was a bit awkward filming in the shops, but we done it. So I'm putting that video again um, together a bit later on today. So look out for that coming on my channel as well. So if you want some inspiration to start making handmade wardrobe, then this is the video to watch. It's gonna give you loads of inspiration. You're gonna be picking up things from the high street, our favorite items that we saw. And then I've also been researching patterns. So I'm gonna give you some ideas of patterns to recreate those items that we found on the high street and hopefully inspire you and give you a go. Some are really easy and some will challenge your sewing um, techniques and abilities slightly more. So look out for that video coming up soon. So that is all from me this morning. I hope you have an amazing Monday and I can't wait to catch up with you next time. And until then, enjoy your coffee and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.